Hi everyone, my name is Junon. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video is about how INFJs perceive family. Now before we dive into uh, this uh, subject, I would like to know who would be interested in a two-hour workshop on INFJs. This uh, workshop would take place on Sunday, December the 4th from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are interested, uh, please send me a message at jmasseus at sexualhealthsite.info and in the subject line you put INFJ workshop and I'll put some details below. So let's go back to the topic at hand. So uh, INFJs are the rarest MBTI person type. Uh, obviously, in history, we're looking at people like Jesus Christ, Buddha, uh, Krishna, uh, Muhammad Gandhi, uh, Mother Teresa. So, uh, obviously, being the rarest type it makes it more difficult for someone to feel connected and to belong with others. And INFJs uh, are a part of the, the group who are the most spiritually advanced. So if you look at their function stack, is that they have introverted intuition at their first function. And second has to do with extroverted feeling, which has to do with uh, the feeling of being connected and bonding with others. So the, that is the, 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 the challenge with INFJs, is the fact that they want absolute truth. And these are the type of people who can perceive essence. And the essence of a person has to do with their level of spiritual evolution. And uh, if you look at, uh, let's say, uh, a number of personality types, uh, the ones who have extroverted feeling, either at the first or second function, that are the ones who are the most right brain dominant. And also these are the type of people who very much cherish feeling connected and bonding. So they want to become one with the people they care about. So this is the, the challenge when it comes to dynamic is the fact that they know when they meet a person if the person is uh, you know who they like similar to who they are and uh, they do want to bond but at the same time they want absolute truth so you'll see that INFJs in history felt very lonely because they have this conflict of I want to belong, but I need to tell the truth. And the fact that they cannot find people like themselves means that they feel very isolated. So I would say to people, if you meet a, a person who says, oh, I feel very, uh, you know, uh, bonded with a lot of people, have a lot of friends, uh, most likely this person is not an INFJ because the INFJ would know right away uh, if someone is at on their same level in terms of their level of spiritual evolution. Uh, the other aspect also with INFJ INFJs is that they have introverted thinking as a third function. So these are people who need logic. So whenever they say they're in a relationship, it has to make sense. Um, Some people believe that if a person is very right brain dominant, they're not very logical. But in the case of INFJs, it is a special case because uh, when you look at the, um, let's say, uh, intuitive feelers, they are, in a sense, a different category. They don't really belong with the rest. They really should have like their own sort of like separate group. So for INFJs, family has to do with a person's level of spiritual evolution. So it's not linked to ethnicity, religion, education, even when you think about it, you know, whether or not you're from a particular nationality. So I need to really look at essence. So these are people who can feel and really uh, read subtle energy, which is what, you know, uh, it defines anything in this universe. So therefore, I need to, when they meet a person within minutes, they wouldn't know if this person belongs to their same spiritual family or level of awareness. So, in other words, INFJs is not that person who will have to say, well, I need to sort of get to know this person much better to know if we bond, if we belong together. So, if you hear someone says, you know, I need to get to know people, you know, much more to actually know if we uh, get along, I would say that this person is most likely not an INFJ. To summarize, INFJs is probably the person that will struggle the most with finding their family because they are the rarest type. And I know that people say that INFJs is 1% of the population, but logically it's probably much less than that because again, as you put, you won't go to the grocery store and stumble on Buddha. So uh, in other words, INFJs know right away if a person belongs to their family because they can feel energy, read energy, and they are the most 
spiritual advance. So ironically, INFJs, because they have extroverted feelings, their second function, in terms of their relationship style, they are the feminine and orderly and they want to bond. Bond, they know right away when to meet a person whether or not this person belongs to the same spiritual family as theirs. So it is the struggle of uh, trying to be, you know, truthful and being wanted to connect. But uh, having introverted intuition, this first function, the guiding light of INFJs is absolute truth. So they have to be you know, truthful in their relationship. So probably INFJs will uh, spend a lot of time maybe alone and not spend a lot of time with other people because they don't feel that these people really belong to their family and they will feel a sense of alienation. So let me know if you agree or disagree with the content of this video by commenting below. If you like this video, if you learned something, please click on the like button. Also, uh, remember to uh, send me a message if you are interested in uh, participating in this two-hour uh, INFJ workshop on Sunday, December the 4th from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, the cost is $50 Canadian per person. I'm going to put the information below so you send me an email at jmatthews at sexualhealthsite.info and in the subject line you put INFJ workshop and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, also remember to click on the nonfiction bell to be notified of other videos I'll be making and we will talk soon.